Alright guys, welcome back to part 14 of modding the original Xbox. This is going to be a quick tip type episode on hard drives and their health. Now these older IDE hard drives have been spinning away since around the year 2000. We need to figure out a way that we can go ahead and scan these hard drives to verify that they're still healthy. So in my last tutorial I told you guys how to do a hot swap soft mod. We're going to be doing about the same thing, except for that we're going to need a computer that has IDE on board. We'll then power on the original Xbox, and then detach the IDE cable, and then attach the cable that's on the computer. So for us to scan the Xbox hard drive, we are going to use the program MHDD. MHDD is a DOS-based program that can be burnt to CD or copied to a floppy. But I'll be burning a copy of the Ultimate Boot CD instead. So we'll click on download UBCD, scroll down to mirror sites, and the one that worked for me was the one labeled Win Software. When it's done downloading, we can right click on the file and choose burn disk image. Place a CD into your disk drive and click burn. So here I am using this older computer. I have this computer set up to boot up from CD. And I have a copy of the Ultimate Boot CD inside of it right now. So let's save our changes and reboot the computer. And the computer will boot into the Ultimate Boot CD. Now that we're here, let's go ahead and select HDD. Now select Diagnosis and then MHDD 4.6. Press enter to start the computer without SCSI support. And then at this point, we're gonna to switch to the original Xbox. So for this Xbox, the hard drive is locked. So we're going to remove the power connector on the DVD drive. And then we'll plug in the video cable and the power cable. And this will be plugged in right next to the computer. Okay, let's go ahead and power it up. And let's verify we have error 12. Now that we have error 12, we can unplug the IDE cable from the hard drive and grab the IDE cable from the computer to plug in. Now back on the computer, we're going to press the escape key. Now press shift F3. And you can see the hard drive is listed at number one. So type one and press enter. Now we'll press F4 and F4 one more time. And now our hard drive is scanning. Once you reach 99.9% .9 or 100%, if there were no warnings or errors, you got a healthy drive. If you start to see things like this, then you got a bad drive. One error is bad. I consider two or more warnings also bad. The drive that you are looking at was pulled out of an original Xbox at one point, and you can clearly see it is shot. Hopefully your hard drive was healthy. You can shut off the Xbox now, unplug the computer's IDE cable, and plug in the original Xbox IDE cable. You can also then replug in the DVD drive power. Now after every hard drive scan I always apply a label that tells me when the hard drive was last tested and that it had no errors. I then find a spot on the hard drive to apply the sticker making sure I do not cover any breather holes or any information about the size or serial number of the hard drive. Now if your hard drive was bad you should do everything that you can to back up the relevant information needed to build a new hard disk such as the EEPROM and any game saves or anything special that you have on your Xbox. Hopefully this tutorial helped you. If it did give me a like, a comment, subscribe and you can check me out in the next video when I talk about Chimp and how you can use that to clone your hard disks.